Blessed be the name of the Lord. Once again, we welcome you on this program of power in prayer. This is the program that you like. And in this program, we are going to pray with you and for you. It is that time again where we are going to believe the Lord for healing, for deliverance, for breakthroughs, for the miraculous in your life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I'm going to give over to the prophetess to greet you as we will be going right into the word of the Lord. Blessed morning once more. We have entered a new month with the same God. We are in the middle of 2020. He brought us thus far not to leave us. Have hope in the Lord. We thank God it doesn't matter the turmoil that you might be facing. It doesn't matter what you are sitting on presently. You know, when I speak about sitting on, it's like you don't know which way to go. Trust the Lord. He who brought you thus far is able to take you further. We have hope in a living God. There is a day and there is some more. There is an evening. And we thank God. For the day, it is the time yes. when we can declare yes. the Lord is my deliverer, Hallelujah. my helper, yes. my confidence, oh God. my trust, Jesus. and my peace. Thank you. The Lord bless you wherever you might be. He is the same God. Take over. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you so much, prophetess. We're going to go right into the word of the Lord. And please, we want you to stay tuned. At the end of the broadcast, we are going to pray for the station of Bojanala FM. Today is their birthday. They are celebrating the anniversary of the establishment of that station in the Lord. The soul elevator. We are going to pray with them. We want you to join your hands together with us as you are going to trust God to move and extend and increase them. Blessed be his name. Glory be to Jesus. Go with us then to the book of John, chapter number 15. That's where we are going to read from verse 1 to 7. John, chapter 15 from verse 1 to 7. And then we will read verse number 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are talking about power in prayer power of prayer let's read i am the true vine the words of jesus christ my father is the vine dresser in other words he is the gardener every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away he cuts it off and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. That's number three. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Now this is New King James Version. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's number four. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you Unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Now, verse number five. He who abides in me. And I in him. Bears much fruit. For without me. You cannot do anything. You can't do nothing. Verse number six. If anyone does not abide in me. He is cast out. As a branch. And is without and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Verse number seven. Very important to take note of verse number seven. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask, that's prayer right there. You will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Verse number 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. And what 
whatever you ask, that prayer right there, the Father in my name, he may give to you. Father, your way is anointed yes, and your way is blessed. Yes, it has got the power to deliver, to save, to heal, to bless, and to bring forth the miraculous in, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this word. May it flow and do its work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I'm going to touch on three things and the prophetess will be talking as well this morning on this protocol. I'm going to give him a time just to mention this morning that power in prayer. Now, power in prayer is manifested in three ways. The power in prayer is the power that will give you the abiding strength. It will give you sustenance, number one. Number two, that power in prayer is the power that is going to prune and purge your life. Number three, the power in prayer is the power that will make you to blossom. Now this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree the abiding power, oh God Almighty, we decree the pruning power, we decree the blossoming power in your life. Hallelujah. Let's touch on number one, the abiding power. Now, in other words, when you stay in prayer, when you remain in the sacred closet, when you are a prayerful person, Jesus Christ says, because I am the vine and you are the branch, when you abide in me, there shall be intimacy between me and you, because I am with the Father, I am risen now, I am at the right hand side of the majesty on high, I am your intercessor, I am your advocator, I am your high priest, when you abide in me, whatever you are asking in my name, you will receive. In other ways, when you abide in Christos, in the anointed one, in his anointed, there is a sure promise that your prayers shall be answered. Oh God, he says that abiding, you need to abide not only in him, but in his word. We're living in the times where men and women of God, where people of God, they no longer abide in the word of the Lord. Come and go. But this morning we came to encourage you that the answers to your prayers, they are in you abiding. Oh God Almighty, your breakthroughs, they are in you abiding. Your miracles, they are in you abiding in the word. Your healing is in your abiding because he has already determined that by his stripes you were healed. My ketamando bo sheketamia babando. Your baptism in the Holy Ghost and the fire of God Almighty it is in you. Abide in Him who is the consuming fire, who is the fire of God. When you abide in Him and in His Word, very soon before you know it, you will see fire upon your life. Oh, prophet, prophet. Blessed be the name of mm. the Lord. What an encouragement just to abide in the Lord. Yes. You know what? The what so powerful here when the Lord says abide in me. Mm. You know, it means without the Lord, we cannot make that. Right. There is no other mm. abiding in any other thing mm. but only to abide in oh, the Lord. Lord. That is why we are hold on to the word of the Lord. We stand on the promises mm. of the mm. Lord. He is the vine, mm. and we are the branches. It means uh, he's the root of our lives, uh, you know, and where from the root comes the food, uh, you know, it comes the nourishment, uh, you know, when a person, uh, when the tree is starting blossoming, then you know it's springtime, when it 
a saint start blossoming. It means transformation is taking place. This God wants us to abide in Him. It means He wants us to depend on Him solely. When we abide in Him, we've got to depend on Him and on Him alone. There are things that the world can offer, but Jesus said, abide in me. You know, the word of life, the author and the finisher of our faith, the one who's the first and is the last, abide in me. When we abide in the Lord, then you have an anchor. You, you, you see, you don't, every plant needs to be watered for growing, you know, but Jesus Christ, is the water of life and that is why life comes from the root from the you know as to the branches you know and as we get that water in the faith we start blossoming we start bearing fruit but now jesus says without me you can do nothing now here is something else you know see jesus is god appointed approaching to god jesus approached He's, uh, he's approaching God, Amen. you know, because he is connected to the Father, to the Holy Spirit. You see, and that is why we so we are so small. Yes. You know, we can speak a lot, but we are so small without God. We can't. We just need to abide in. That is what he's asking about. When we abide in him, when we have time for prayer, when we meditate in the word, when we speak the word of God, when we encourage other people, when we understand that is only when we abide. No, not a lot of work. No, no. No, no. Abide. Just abide. Stay. That word means stay. You got just to remain. Continue right there. Just stay there. In, in that word, stay right you, you, you see, this word, you know, mm. it is able to, 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 to multiply. Yes. That is why miracles come mm. because of this vine. Mm. Breakthroughs come because of this vine. You know, healing comes because of this vine. You know, you can do anything. And that is why there is nothing that you need more than needing God. When you abide in him, it shall be well. Shall be well. You know, any plant, you know what I, what blesses my heart so much? Mm. You see, a small seed, That's right. you, can, you can plant it. Yes. But it doesn't matter how hard the soil becomes. Yeah. 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 But when that, so, uh, that plant comes through that soil, oh, man, yeah. how small it might be, it will penetrate through the hard soil. So every problem, having the small seed of faith, will penetrate. It will be visible. There will be a blossoming. The only thing that you need to do to abide in Him. Over to you. Blessed be the prophetess. You have said something great here. You say Jesus is saying, I am the vine. Now, now that was metaphoric. Oh my God, come a bush again. In other words, then you need to understand uh, that Jesus uh, what was trying to teach his disciples uh, by pictures, kolabo, shaken daliabakata. In other words, for me and you to abide in him, we need to understand that he is the great I am. Oh yes. God Almighty. Yes. When Moses asked, Who shall I say send me? Oh God said to him, Tell that Pharaoh, tell him that I am has sent you. Now, Jesus, then, who is the Jehovah of the Old, the Jesus of the New Testament, he said to his disciples, I am the vine. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want you to remember then that you are abiding in the great I am. He is the word of creation. In other words, the creator of the universe, oh God Almighty, says, Abide in me. The creator of the universe, of the heavens and the earth, says, to you this morning, abide in me. He is not only the creator, but he is the redeemer. Oh God Jesus Almighty, the one that is created, you is the one that has come 
down to the earth uh, to redeem you. Uh, he says, abide in me. Uh, in other words, uh, he is the creator uh, and he is the redeemer. He has created uh, you and me. Uh, then we left him. Uh, we tripped away uh, because of Satan, uh, of sin. Uh, he sent his son uh, to redeem us. Uh, now, therefore, uh, he has redeemed uh, his possession. Uh, that he has created. Nabo Katina Bahasha Lebon Yamasasea. We belong to him. Haya Mando Bohosha. That is why it is idolatry to abide in other things. It is idolatry. You practice idolatry when you abide and trust other things other than God Almighty. He's not only the Redeemer, but David knew him as a shepherd. He says, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah the prophet uh, knew him uh, as the porter. Uh, he says, I am abiding in God uh, because he's a porter. Uh, I'm just a player. My uh, Paul the Apostle uh, knew him uh, as the bridegroom. Uh, there is an abiding power when you pray. Uh, there is an abiding power. There is intimacy between the bridegroom uh, and the bride. Uh, and the Bible says uh, they are brought together by a covenant. Uh, and that covenant uh, cannot be annulled. Uh, therefore, when you abide, uh, there is oneness uh, with God. God, the people of God that will bring revival, the people of God that will showcase God are those that are abiding in Him, are those that are abiding in the Word. Because when you abide in Him and in the Word, you are bringing heaven down. Oh my God. It's my prayer this morning. It's our prayer this morning, Jesus. in this hour of prayer, that you will abide, that you will abide. We came this morning, but just stay with him, just stay with him, just stay with him. Blessed be the name of the Lord, glory be to Jesus, hallelujah. Let's move to number two then. I am Andy Colobondia. Oh God Almighty, says those uh, that abide in me, uh, there will be a purging, oh God, uh, there will be a pruning uh, when you abide in him, uh, because he's the one, uh, as the prophet said, uh, that nourishes you. Uh, remember, he says, I am the vine, uh, now the vine uh, is looked at, uh, oh God Almighty, and the father is the vine dresser, he's the gardener, he's the one that makes sure that there are manure is the one that makes sure that there are manure cultivation oh god almighty now the vine has got root it's going deep down to pull out oh god almighty whatever you need whatever you need now therefore he's saying if you abide in me there is power and the bohosha oh that he promises uh, the power of pruning uh, everyone uh, that loves him uh, he chastised that person uh, that is a pruning uh, you remember peter he was pruned uh, by the lord uh, he said satan uh, oh god uh, wanted to see you like a weed but i prayed for you there was a pruning uh, when he denied the lord uh, he was unhappy he was bitter he felt he was a failure, but he didn't know that was a pruning from the Lord, that was a pruning from the Lord God Almighty, that was a pruning from his master, that was a pruning from his friend. He said, you see, when you abide in me, your position will change. You'll no longer be my servant. You will be my friend. Now the Bible says, oh God Almighty, there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. When you abide in Jesus, he's a friend indeed. He's a friend in need. He will not leave 
leave you the way in which you came. He will not leave you the way in which you are. You can come the way in which you are, but he will not leave you that way. There is a pruning. Oh God Almighty, I want to talk to you, sir. I want to talk to you, ma'am. When you go through trials, when you go through tribulation, when you go through testing, remember it is a pruning. Oh God Almighty, hold on. Hold on, you are just a branch. You are just a branch. Hold on to the vine. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. You don't have money. I know it is difficult. You don't have a career, maybe. I know it is difficult. You don't have an employment. You can't feed those children. But abide. Abide. Oh God Almighty. The one that says abide. It is the hope of Jireh, the one that says abide, it is El Shaddai, the one that says abide, is the El Elyon, oh God Almighty, he can make a way when there is no way, he can open the doors that are being shut, abide, oh God Almighty, when you abide, there is a pruning, there is a pruning, maybe this is your season of pruning, but I will come to encourage you, abide in him there is a pruning not only a pruning but there's a cutting off if you are not going to abide you are going to wither and you will be cut off judas who walked with jesus for almost three and a half years god almighty he did not abide because the mission of coming to jesus was not to abide he came there for another mission to enrich himself he looked at the ministry and he said if i connect with this man i will be rich i will enrich myself he was looking at money he was looking at what he can get out of this ministry oh say man it's difficult to come into the ministry looking at what you can get I am Hashikariah because that thing, that thing that brought you in, it is the same thing that will take you out. But if you have come in because you love him, if you have come in because you want him to be your friend, God Almighty, he will prune you. Judas could not be pruned. That is why there he was with that. In the Lord. In the Lord. Number two, mm. Jesus says, John chapter number 3, chapter number 13, 1, 3, verse number 10 and 11, it says that the prophecy should be fulfilled. It says, someone amongst you is not clean. It says, this is that the prophecy should be fulfilled. Now, don't be that one. That the prophecy of being a byword, a prophecy of being a lost person, should be fulfilled upon your life. Prophetess. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The pruning is not easy. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. According uh, to 1 Peter 4. You know when you look into that chapter. Yes, yes. To suffer. Uh, uh, verse 16. Yes. To suffer as a Christian. Don't be ashamed. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know and it's through that. Uh, time of pain and disappointments. Where you draw closer to God. Don't be frustrated because you don't have. Mm. Don't be discouraged because you haven't seen yet your breakthrough. Amen. Remember, don't live carelessly because of what you are going through presently. Because yes. God is asking of us just to be established in the Lord. That is why I hold on. Mm. Persevere. These things draw the best of God. From out of us, blessed be the name of the Lord. When other people give up, mm -hmm. you stand home. Amen. When other people say, we don't see a way out. Mm -hmm. You remember as a child of God, you are not of your own. Yes. You, you've been bought with a price. Amen. You are connected mm -hmm. to the vine. Oh, God. And it is in him mm -hmm. that we stand. Amen. It doesn't matter the oh, wind of life. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter oh, how the leaves God. are falling off. The dry situations, oh, God what you should do is to remain, remain, 
to remain mm -hmm. in the Lord. Because you see, after a dry season, yes. there will be rain again. There will be rain again. Then there will be oh the God, season will oh change. Sir. Season will change. Maybe it's a dry oh season in your life. This is the time mm -hmm. when people mm -hmm. see that you don't have anything. You see, what is so powerful yes. when you look at the vine, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is hanging. On 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 on, on wires, yes, yes, yes. so that the fruits mm. cannot fall off. Yes. The grapes are hanging. Oh God Almighty! But the the, the root, yes. the, the vine, you know, is getting its its food. Now now, what is amazing oh, here? Oh, After oh, the season oh, oh, of harvest, yes 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 yes, oh, the my autumn my comes. Yes, mm. the dry season. Mm. Where the leaves start changing. Oh God Almighty. And the fruits are not there. Mm -hmm. Because they have been taken off. Mm -hmm. And after that. Mm -hmm. They do the pruning. Ayam. For the next season. Ayam. We don't know which level God is taking yes, you to. Yes, 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 yes. We yes. don't know what God is planning for your life. No, we don't know. But all he asks us. Oh God is to Almighty. remain in him. Remain. You know, just hold on. After every night. Oh, there is a morning. Yes, my God. We have seen. Since March. That there is a pruning. There is a season. Oh God. Of questions. But we don't question our God. Yes, oh God. Because oh nothing God. happened. Yes. Without God not knowing. Oh God. He is the vine. We are the branches. The wind of life yes, 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 cannot yes, disconnect yes, us. Yes, and that is why we can't oh give up. God. We cannot disappoint God. Because after this, we will bear much fruit. Yes. The joy will come back Amen. according to Galatians 5 from the 22 to, oh, 20, to 23. Yes. There will be peace. Amen. There will be kindness. Amen. Then the kindness of God yes. will come back Amen. and we will see, you know, it was just that season oh, when we were pruned. Oh, but we know God. that this season yes. of joy, peace, happiness, oh, uh, as we are oh, rejoicing God. in Hallelujah. our Lord uh, and we persevere. Amen. We shall blossom Amen. again. Amen. We shall blossom again. Amen. You might be flat and oh unpleasantly, but while you are breathing, yes. oh there is hope. Oh God. There is encouragement. Oh God. All you need to do, hold strong and connect to the vine. Every time you pray, every time you, you read the word, every time, every time you motivate yourself in the Lord, every time you motivate other people, Remember, your reward shall be for short. Amen. This God has no chains. Amen. And that is why you don't jump out no. when situations are not favorable. Mm. Because there is no one like the Lord. All he asks us is to abide. Because there he says there is no any other God. He says to the disciples, you are my friends. It means when I leave, you will do what I did. I, I stood yes, God. the test of time. Yes, 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 yes. I went through what you will be facing. Hallelujah. But I am there to intervene for you. Amen. Uh, you will bear fruit. Amen. But listen, oh, God. don't be cut off. Hmm. Don't be dismantled. Oh, God. Stay in me. Stay for in three me. and a half years, oh, I nourished you by the word of the Lord. Oh, God Almighty. So that you can bear fruit. Amen. But stay. Me, in me, as I stay in the Lord Father. God Blessed Almighty. be the name Allah of the Lord. Allah. You know, every time there is pruning, yes, you yes, know, yes, yes. your energy becomes stronger. Mm. Amen. It says, Lord, I'm going to make us. Lord, I'm going to fly all day. I feel, I don't feel it presently, but it's not what I feel. It is what I believe in. And I believe in the word of the Lord. He who saved me is able to sustain me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God, God is a faithful God. God doesn't want us to move. He wants us to develop ourselves in the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm. That is why we get into fasting and yes, prayer. Yes, that is yes, why yes. we get into the word of the Amen. Lord. That is why we pray. Amen. Because we are developing ourselves. Yes. Oh, why? God. That we might bear much fruit. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, without me, you can't do anything. 
You can do nothing. Yes. Why? Mm. Because he's the giver of life. Amen. You cannot stand in God, oh, God. and move to another arm. That is not of God. You remain in the Lord yes. oh, because he who's giving us life yes. and life forevermore oh, God. is able to sustain you mm. in him. And that is why he brings this to us. Mm. He says, my father, yes. my father. Is the vine dresser. It's the gardener. Amen. He, he dresses you. You know, he cut, you see, you, you can't just cut it. When you cut the vine, you don't just cut it. You, you cut it. Where is it? Like some bright things need to be cut out of our lives. You know, so that, you know, the, 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 the job of old. The fruitfulness of God can blossom. Amen. So that people, when they look at you, they will see a move by all time. They will see the Lord. Because we are the friends. We, we must demonstrate what He has left for us. Because He's not there. That is why the Holy Spirit is there to remind us of all that we have been taught. In the Lord, oh, God, all God is name. asking of us, oh, remain, remain in, in me, Hallelujah. and I oh, will God. remain in you. Amen. My words must remain in you. Oh, Sometimes uh, when the words of faith is gone, yeah. we speak curses of our own lives. Oh, God, Every mercy. negative word you speak, mm. oh, uh, it, you set it out of your own mouth. Mm. And sometimes those things bring dryness in our lives. Oh God. May the Lord help us. May the Lord sustain oh us. God. May the Lord strengthen Thank us. Jesus. May the Lord motivate us this yeah. morning oh God. as we are reminded that we are just branches. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is a faithful God. God is a true God. Amen. And we thank God this morning yes. that he wants to reveal himself in us so that God can get the glory and Jesus gets the honor because if it wasn't for Jesus who laid down his life we wouldn't have been alive today and we not just live but we are alive in the Lord because we are connected to the branch God bless you thank you thank you so much prophetess you, you stirred my spirit by the pruning because a pruning period is a transitional period. Please know that God is a God that wants to bring us into transitionary periods. You move from being a worm in a cocoon to become a butterfly that will fly high. So Amen. when you go through the transition, Indeed, prophetess, as you have said, don't give in, don't give up. Don't throw in the tower. We know it is tough. We have been through those seasons Amen. of pruning. We have been through those seasons of pitching. This year we celebrate 40 years in ministry. We know the seasons of pitching, but we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his Holy Spirit. We thank God for his favor that he kept us in the midst of the storms. I kept us in the midst of broodings. He kept us because he is the vine dresser. He kept us united with him. And we can surely say to you, it was the grace of God. Jesus. It was the Holy Spirit of the Lord. It was his Shekinah glory that was leading us, that was going before us. Now please remember the third point and we'll close with that. When you abide in him, there will be a time of pruning. When that time of pruning, after the time of pruning, there will be a time of blossoming. It says, when you abide in me, you shall bear more fruit. 
At times we look at men and women of God uh, when they are fruitful in ministry, when they have achieved much, uh, and we think it was instant. Uh, no, 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 no. I get to submit to you. Uh, it is not instant. Uh, when you see a genuine man of God uh, successful, uh, go ask him, uh, how did you come to where you are? Uh, he will tell you, uh, as a genuine man of God, uh, he will tell you that I abode, uh, I am Mandobohosha. During the time of pruning, uh, I, I remain in him. Uh, he will tell you uh, that when I went to the fire, he was there with me, uh, and the flames uh, could not scorch me. Uh, when I went to the waters, uh, he was there with me. Uh, the flood uh, could not drown me. Uh, he will tell you. Uh, now, please, please, uh, God wants to elevate you. Uh, God wants to bring you uh, into another place. Uh, God wants to take you to another level. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, I am Mandobohosha. After a pruning, uh, there is a blossoming. Uh, he says uh, that you can bear more fruit. Uh, I like this, oh God Almighty. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the blossoms uh, the blossoms uh, 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 I like that uh, because as you are blossoming, uh, the fruits are coming. Uh, and the Bible says uh, it will be more fruit. Uh, but as you continue uh, abiding in Him, uh, it will be much more. Uh, I pray God this morning uh, that will come into a zone uh, of a much more. I am a There is a zone uh, that you need to desire as a child of God, uh, as a servant uh, of the Most High God. Uh, it's a zone uh, of much more uh, where you will be blessed uh, to be a blessing, oh God Almighty. I am God uh, has given you an assignment. Uh, he has given you a ministry to go to the whole world uh, and preach the gospel, uh, to deliver the bounds, uh, to save the lost. Uh, he has given you power. God Almighty to bring deliverance, uh, but it's only in abiding uh, and enjoying the pruning, uh, you will ball blossom uh, and you'll begin to bear fruit. Uh, you'll come to a zone uh, of much more. Oh God, uh, I like the zone of much more. When Peter uh, on the day of Pentecost, uh, when he opened his mouth uh, and preached the first message uh, after Pentecost, uh, the Bible. Bible records uh, that more than 3,000 souls uh, came to the knowledge of the Lord. Uh, I don't know what you think about that. Uh, I came to say to you, it was a much more. Oh God Almighty says it will be the fruit uh, that will abide. Uh, it will be the lasting fruit. Uh, oh God Almighty, there is a much more. There is a much more. Come to that place uh, of much more. The Bible says Philip uh, went to a place called Samaria. When he came to that place, uh, he turned Samaria upside down, uh, inside up. Uh, but a witch uh, in Samaria called Simon uh, surrendered uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I came to declare to you, uh, when you endure, when you stay, uh, even during the time of blossoming, when you stay, you know, there's a problem, prophetess, when people are just blossoming, they want to leave, they want to go and start another minister without the fruit, no, 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 please, when God blossom you, don't leave the church that you belong to, stay until, until you see that the fruit are lasting uh, until you realize uh, that you have come into a zone uh, of much more of much more you know before we came uh, to rustin back uh, we have already started uh, in Panda Bay Park five churches five branches uh, and God said to us uh, leave them uh, Go to Rustenberg, uh, go to Northwest, uh, I want you there. I am Mando Mohosha, and Nicola Bondia Makatea, my kids are here, my bando coca. I am Mando Mohosha. To data by the grace of the Lord, there are 24 branches in this great city of Rustenberg and her environs. 
branches in Cape Town, branches in Durban. Oh God Almighty, I am wait until you come to a place of much more, of much more, of much. That's where God wants to take you to. I am a kata. Mandibo ho shaliya babando koka. Handa boho shaliya babando. When Saul of Tarsus, who will later be called Paul, when he came into his season, handa boho shake tabiya babando of abiding and pruning. I am mandi kolo bondi. I am mando bobo. Except number fifteen, the Bible says the Holy Spirit said, "Choose for me." Paul and Silas uh, to go to the uttermost parts of the earth uh, and preach the gospel. That was a season of much more, of much more. And that gospel reached to us. My prayer this morning is that you will stay, you will stay, you will stay and enjoy the pruning. You will stay and come into the blossoming and into bearing more fruit until you come into much more until you come into lasting fruits. Is that my prayer this morning? I'm praying for you that God will help you. Maybe this morning, what you are requesting is that God will heal you. God will reveal his fruit of faithfulness into your life. God will bless you. God will reveal his fruit of kindness to you. Now remain in him. Through the pruning, remain in him. Through the pruning, remain in him. Maybe you came to the house of the Lord. You were not employed. You came there. You were not even working. You were unemployed. Now you are starting to blossom. You've got your employment. You are starting to blossom. Oh, please remember the house of the Lord. Remember the Lord that gave you that employment. Remember him and do accordingly to the waiter. By your sustenance, come and worship him with your sustenance. Worship the Lord that gave you the employment. Don't forget that it is the Lord that gave you that employment. Now that you are rich, now that you are wealthy, you have forgotten him. I came to say to you, if you want to see increase, if you want to see elevation, remain. When you are blossoming, just remain. Stay right there because God will take you. To much more, to much more, to much more. Prophetess. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now here is something uh, else that, that came into my heart. Mm. Who has planted you? Mm. Sometimes people planted people and they are not connected to the vine. And that will not last. Because anything not planted by God mm. shall not bear fruit. So true. It will just be a blossoming. But the fruits will never appear. Oh, and the time will blossom. Yes. People get excited. Mm. People feel they have reached the sky. Mm. But you know everything. Mm. That started in God. Will remain in God. Yes. Unless you decided. To not to bear fruit. The fruit that we need to bear. Is that we God should be glorified. Amen. And not abused. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is why we need to abide in the Jesus movement. Amen. Stay in Jesus, the true vine, Amen. and allow the Father to prune your life. Amen. We glorify God, we exalt Him, and we magnify the King of glory Amen. as we declare Shalom, Shalom. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. As uh, the Apostle has said, we remember Bojanala FM 90.6. Yes. The soul elevated. That is something that is very much, you know, uh, uh, attaching my, your soul elevator. So true. Your soul elevator. You see, if a person's soul cannot be elevated, mm. you will go from side to side because there is no elevation in your soul. It is only God. That can elevate that soul. I, I want to bless them with the scripture of Psalm 9 verses 10. Yes. Those who know your name. Yes. Trust in you. Mm. For you Lord have never forsaken those who seek you. This is soul elevation. Amen. That 
when your soul is elevated, you will never forget God. We declare this day to the directors of Bojanana FM. May the Lord keep your souls too. Strengthened, unshaken, not forgetting what God has done. So that as you, it's actually evangelism. As the gospel is being preached from the station, that the Lord will reward you. We are grateful and we declare many more years for Bojanala FM in the Lord. The Lord do you good. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much, prophetess. Please don't leave. We are going to pray with you and for you. Maybe today you are not planted. You are not engrafted in the vine. So we are going to pray with you. But today, you can come into the vine, who is Jesus, and become the branch, and become the extension of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, we are going to pray with you, and we are going to pray for you. And if you are that person, follow us in this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I realize that I've been planted amiss. Today I'm coming to you, the Jesus. vine, the great I am. Jesus. I say, get into my life. Forgive all of my sins. Forgive my idolatry. I accept you to be Lord and to be Savior of my life. Write my name in your book of life. Cleanse all of my sins. Let all curses be broken that I may enter into you into generational blessings. Thank you that you have heard this prayer that I'm making today to abide in you. Maybe you're a backslider. Slide back to the vine Jesus. and be encrafted to this vine so that you can bear much fruit, so that you can blossom. The fruit speaks about your character. The fruit speaks about the charisma, the character and the charisma, the gifts of the Holy Spirit so that you can go out there and fulfill the assignment of God. We want to pray with you. If you are that person, you say, I've withered away. I went astray. I followed after things. I was taken out. My self-ambition, self-ego, by the desires of the flesh, I was taken out by the lust of the eyes. And coming back, there's still room for you in the Bible. Father, we decree Jesus, by your decree that here are your children coming back to you. In Jesus' name. We pray that the vine accept them. Let them be encrafted in you. In Jesus' name. Let the sap, the nourishment that comes out of you touch their lives. The Holy Spirit. The cleansing power of the word, the blood of Jesus, purify, cleanse them, strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying for them, God, Jesus. in Jesus' mighty name. Even you right there at home, we say, let the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow remain upon your life. We pray that the power Jesus. of the Holy Spirit who is living in your inside, who is the helper with Jesus, will abide in you and strengthen you. We are now decreeing a blessing over Bojanala FN, over the family of Bojanala, the directors and the employees Jesus. 
We decree a blessing as Shekinah Tabernacle family. Jesus. All our sons and daughters, they are joining us. We are standing together. We declare by the decrees of the Lord. We say, Bojamala FM, the Lord bless you Jesus and name. keep you. Jesus name. We say, may the face of the Lord shine upon in you. The name of Jesus. May the Lord deal with your affairs in his favor, Jesus. in his mercy. Gracious. Jesus. May he smile on you. Jesus name. We decree and we declare that the countenance of God will be lifted up towards your direction. Jesus name. God will open doors that you never thought of. Jesus. He will open the heavens above you, Bujangala FM. Jesus name. We pray that the countenance of God will not leave you. Come on, devil. Jesus. You will experience the peace of God, the shalom of the Lord. There shall be nothing missing. There shall be nothing broken. There shall be nothing like him. Receive the increase of God. Receive the extension of the Lord. Receive the mercies of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen.